Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates. I'm your host Omi. Welcome to Omi Men's YouTube channel. We can clearly see market has been pumping, looking very beautiful. The structure looks beautiful. If we jump into this weekly close, beautiful hammer here, which is usually reversal candles, and we saw a bullish engulfing candle for the last week. I hope everybody is very happy when we have a weekly close, uh, a weekly start going on right now. So without any waste, let's jump into today's video and find out more details, what we can expect and what is coming next for us. So without any waste, let's jump into gate.io and gate.io, we're going to find out how our Metaverse NFT coins doing over the past week. We can see Mana is up over 5%, Alice is doing pretty well as well. Sand is kind of having a pullback, but that's okay. Uh, AX has made massive gains yesterday, it's up about 6%. Uh, I was expecting more from UFO, but it's still up about 1%. We'll take it. Let's jump into Gala. And Gala is up about 13%. And that is amazing. SLP is up about 25%. For SLP, they're working on tokenomics. So we might be seeing a lot of things happening in SLP in the next few days and months to come. Overall, uh, our coins look all right. There are some in pullback and some are still pumping. So we can give the benefit of doubt to our Metaverse and NFT coins for today. So if you do want to join gate.io, just click in the link given in the description below and join gate.io today. Get yourself some DGEN coins and aim for that 100x, 200x that you can get here. So let's jump into Crypto Greed and Fear Index. One of the most important things, whether we're going to be fearful today or greedy, it's at 45 today, and which is amazing. Uh, we'll start at 37. So we're kind of kicking out of the fear zone. So oh my God, we were in fear for so long. And Kind of got scary as well, to be really honest. So, up am looking again, looks good, very, very good. Maybe a bigger upside 43, 45. We'll start entering into these zones, one of our favorite zones. We know every time we get in here, market will have a lot of upside coming very, very soon. Let's jump into our crypto bubbles as well. Let's check out what's happening in our bubble. Ship is up about 21%. XRP, wow, is up about 14%. KD is up 13%. Leo out of nowhere is up 14% as well. Gala, we just saw on gate.io, doing very, very good, 14%. AVEX is up about 5%. Uh, Phantom is up about 9%. Overall, market looks very, very good. Bubbles look very, very healthy. A lot of greenery in the market for the last few days. Finally, things have beginning to turn green. It was red for so long. It felt like it's never going to end. So let's jump into our first news. The first news we have for us today is Bitcoin's price returns to 43,000. Five things to watch out in Bitcoin this week. Caution celebration as Bitcoin avoids to dive back into its recent trading range as inflation. The Caution celebration as Bitcoin avoids to dive back into its recent trading range as inflation and dollar form major points of interest. This is very, very interesting time, very, very key time. We really not sure what is coming to us in the markets, whether we'll be able to really see and deliver on the things we've been thinking about, or we're going to have a massive pullback. Inflation is very, very high right now. We're also going to be having our 10-year yield being discussed on Thursday in CIP. Uh, it's about at 7%. There are talks in the market. They want to bring it down to 2%. Whether that's going to happen or not, we're only going to find out about maybe Thursday, Thursday, Friday, early morning. The last news we have for us today is very very interesting it's for everybody who's in a long distance relationship and he wants to meet his lover just be there for her though you can't touch her physically but you can be with her in a metaverse this is where we are at now this this is amazing right so meta marriage decenter and host first metaverse wedding the arizona couple's big day didn't go to plan showing that the metaverse still has a while to go before it can reliably host the wedding with all bells and whistles of the real world. Obviously, it's a metaverse. It was first when it had a lot of glitches, had a lot of issues. But at least we had the first one. We even had an Indian wedding recently, which I had a chance to attend in the metaverse. It was very weird and very unique. But something new, we just got to get used to it. And it was very, very interesting because so many people can come into a metaverse wedding compared to a real wedding because you can connect from all over the world. There's something very, very interesting and unique about this. So that's all for our news. Let's jump into our charts for today. Charts will dictate what we can expect in the next 24 hours to be coming our way. So we can clearly see BTC right now is consolidating in these phases. It's in one hour time frame. If we jump into four hours, we can clearly see a very nice uh, bull flag going on here. This is our pole. And now we are also forming a flag. But we've already began to break out from our flag. So things are looking very good. We want to have our danger zone converted into support, which we are trying to do right now. 
things are aligned and exactly as we would want them to go but 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 we always have to be cautious in these markets that's the reason i would advise you if you are taking trades use a very very tight stop loss it's going to help you a lot same thing going on in eat as well looking beautiful another massive uh, flag being formed here either we're making flags right now or we are making up and handles in our coins so these are two very very good things that we can clearly see and experience right now here also we can see we have already broken out clear breakout going on here and it's looking very very good very very likely that it's gonna have some clean breakouts and some clean uh, resistance like for me i really think if uh, it breaks out and trades above this key zone uh, I think I will be very, very relaxed and a lot happy. I just have a bad feeling we might face some rejections, a lot of resistance around 32 and 33,000 because we can see here these were our very, very clear zones and we are also making a massive cup. So things are looking very, very interesting here as well. AXS, mein chalte hai. AXS mein we can clearly see that AXS had a very beautiful cup. A massive cup has been formed here. We even have a double bottom breakout which is already completed. And now we are forming a massive cup. If we come here, oh my god, this is going to be amazing. A lot of coins are forming cups and even looking good, very, very good in day and weekly time frames. So things are looking very, very bullish. Let's jump into Solana as well. And Solana, ko bhi dekhe, Solana is now trying to build resist, uh, its resistance into support. It's going to support a little bit of rejection li wapas upar aaya and now it's trying to consolidate here, trying to make this resistance into support, which is a very, very bullish sign yet again. Atom, ko dekhe, Atom B looks very, very good, made a very good double bottom here and now it's facing resistance. Some of the coins are facing resistance, some have broken out through their resistance. Another coin I'm very bullish on right now is AVAX. Very beautiful uptrend, clearly higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low and now it's trying to convert its resistance into support which is a very very critical and important thing for us to do right now if we jump into phantom as well phantom looks very very good another double bottom w breakout and now it's consolidating in this zone massive resistance is uh, gonna be coming soon in play so we have to watch out hopefully we can break out just like avax solana has done and probably come here and build support so we can have something like this and come here build support and then probably head higher that would be very very good for us uh very good to enter on the support not right now wouldn't be the ideal time to get into this trade just wait for the resistance to turn into support next one we have is luna quite sad about luna because of the anchor protocol it took massive hit and came down like a waterfall but now finally it's beginning to pump up as the issues have sorted out on the chain and the people have even uh, pumped back the 300 uh, 300 ethereum that was taken away by the treasury secretary who kind of scam the company and now if we jump into matic we can see matic is also doing very very good matic tv a chip side area resistance support can their turn over yes but a lot of the coins are doing very very good right now if we look at slp ko bhi dekhe, to slp pumped very hard yesterday slp tokenomics are changing xc XC infinity uh owners and the team has decided to change its tokenomics a bit so we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of pumps uh, coming very very soon and regularly into slp also lately there's a high chance and possibility CRV ko bhi dekhe, Phantom Skirt Finance uh, looks very very good, uh, very good high, up a higher high, higher lows going on in play here. It's looking very very good without any doubt. Super ko bhi dekhe, the Super looks very very good, very beautiful breakout, a beautiful cup and handle here and it's now finally breaking out. Uh, looks very very good, very likely to reach some good higher highs. Mainly if you look at the market, everything looks very very good and very very bullish. So let's jump into BTC and decide whether what we can expect for BTC to act or do in the next few hours. For me, what, what's very important is at some point we want to have some kind of correction and slowly, slowly, you know, head higher. We don't want to head higher uh, very fast, uh, you know, pump extremely hard because all these pumps always bring us down also very hard and we don't want to do that. We've done that here several times. Uh, finally, we do have broken from our downtrend channel line. So if we jump into one day, we probably will have a better picture. This is my famous accumulation chart for BTC uh historical all its history from the beginning of the first day i usually use this to see longer pictures and decide whether we're bullish and bearish in in the longer time frames so if i see here we are clearly broken out from accumulation zone which i made around i think last month sometime i think 15th january already i kind of knew that 32,000 is highly likely going to be our bottom and the and the biggest reason for that is is this area and then this area it already shows us uh, in, in longer time frames a good higher high and a good higher low. So a higher high, a higher low, 
this was the higher high earlier then this was the higher low so it looks very very good and looks very very bullish very likely but all eyes right now is at 43,000 44,000 because these zones are very very important once we break these zones we can be very very sure that 47,000 is coming 46,000 48 50 is going to open up gates for us for now in the short term we really need to break 43,500 consolidate build 42,500 into our support and expect some good moves to be coming market has been bullish finally for some time now so we should just enjoy and have a have a great time with the market while it's green so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and share our video with your friends that's what keeps us motivated keeps us going on this channel uh, take care guys have a great day bye bye